Mike, you join us as a life or death struggle is happening. Look. It's, it's a bee trapped in a spider's web and the spider is attempting to eat the bee. If David Attenborough were here, he'd be giving it his all. Look, it's, it's all going to end in... Okay, look, that gives me an eye. <laughs> oh. Well, that's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's quite cool. I think we're going to try and score that, okay? Life or death struggle between spider and bee while it really happens. I'm not even properly set up for this, as you can tell. Right, okay. The spider's lost interest. What's going on? No, I've, I've had my lunch. I'm uh, just, just interested. Oh, for goodness sake, you can't be... Right, let's get everything going. Oh, is the bee giving up? Hang on, this, you, you need to come back. This is, t this is too... Uh, this is too... Oh. Oh, that's going to be a grisly end. Grisly end, grisly end. Okay, I'm not that keen on the look of that spider. I think it might be a false widow or something, which is not the world's best thing to have. So I'm gonna, we're gonna get rid of it. <laughs> what a stressful start. And I haven't even got to write in the music yet. Right, now I'm gonna try and encapsulate that epic battle between spider and bee in music. Spider versus uh, B. Uh, where are we going to start? Let's just start with an empty template uh, and go from there. Uh, add an audio track in, I suppose. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, okay. We're going to put a marker track in because what I'm going to do. Let's okay. Let's assume that this is uh, actually a wildlife sequence from a wildlife show, of which I've done a fair number. So, what? we would do is we will pretend we've got the, fi the film here. So we're going to put uh, some markers in to pretend uh, we know what we're doing. Okay, so so the first thing we see is the, uh, the bee trapped in the thing. <coughs> My bee sunglasses on, so now I'm being the bee. <coughs> Etc. okay. Then, uh, a few bars later, uh, we see the spider come in. So we put a marker in there. Now I'm being spider, okay. Okay, and then a couple of bars later, uh, we see uh, the spider. I mean, we see, first of all, we see the, uh, uh, the, the bee struggling in a sort of wider shot, and then we see the spider come in, and sometime around bar 16, we see uh, the spider uh, eat the bee. Okay, actually, we'll make that one a little bit later. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, so that's how it's going to go. Uh, how are we going to do this? Um, well, the first thing, it would be really, really easy to be very literal about this and say, oh, I want the bit to sound a bit like a spider. I want it to sound like the bee. There's no point in rep reproducing the, the natural sound. You know, the natural sound, I, that, that bee get type thing. Um, is not going to, there's no point in reproducing that uh, in music because it's already there. Thank you very much. And, and the, you know, the bee's doing a pretty good job of being like a bee. So what I'm going to do is we want to create an atmosphere and we want to create an atmosphere of tension because even though these are micro creatures, microscopic creatures, in the world of natural history, they are giants, they are heroes, they are villains. <laughs> So whether you are the bee or the spider, and these will help you tell which is which, you are these great protagonists fighting it out. Okay, so we've got to start by creating a sense of tension. Um, ah, we could do this orchestrally, but I sort of feel the urge to do something a little bit more. Ah. I'm going to record something, put it into 
uh, uh, sort of mess about with it. Okay, so what are we going to do? What are we going to find? Uh, how about we did the whistles? Oh, I know. We'll use this. I mean, it's, does a spider sound like a, a bass panpipe? No, obviously not, guy. Spider sounds like a core ongle. Everybody knows that. No, 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 no. Come on, calm down. Okay. Is this going in anywhere? Yeah, it looks like. Right. Let's get this uh, set up, and then I'm just going to play some notes, and then we're going to mess with the sound and uh, see what we can do. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The bass panpipe symphony. Right, I'm gonna do this as fast as possible so you don't get bored and go off and watch cat videos or something. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna chop it up, chop it up. Here we go, chop, chop, chop. Command B, which means turn each of these into a little audio file by themselves. Uh, then we're going to normalize them because I am lazy. Is normalizing a good thing? No, it's a terrible thing. Do I do it all the time? Yes, absolutely. Why? Because I am lazy. Repeat after me. Uh, and this is not good practice. Can I hear the difference? Not much. And I'm trying to press on. And most of the time, and I will come back to this point from time to time, a more interesting idea, badly produced, is better than a dull idea uh, produced perfectly. And the best of lot is a really good idea, well produced, but always uh, on the side of originality rather than on the side of perfecting um, perfection in terms of your production. That's what I'd say. Right, I'm going to save this off in a folder and then we know where the files are so then I can drag it into other things and stuff like that. Right, now I'm going to add one of my favourite instruments, which is isotope. Do you know, I got about five minutes into this idea before I realised I wasn't recording the sound. That's why <laughs> you could see this, that was already there. Right, here we go. There is Iris. Uh, we're gonna have click new for new patch, that'll do. Now we're gonna go and find the folder into which I dumped all these uh, uh, audio files. Where have you gone? Let's see what this is gonna sound like. Okay. Oh, turn myself down. sort of mm, not feeling the love for that one I know what I'm going to do I know what I'm going to do I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to stretch it out so it's super long and then I'm going to put it into iris and then we'll see what it's made of well, we won't. Oh, yes, we will. Yes, we will. OK, look. So uh, what I'm trying to do at this stage in the game is come up with a sound which is interesting. And by the time you, it's finished, it, you know, this sound, it'll form... It'll, it won't be the whole piece, but it'll just be something which is not straight off the shelf. So I'm going to pull that out so it's really gone silly. Uh, yes, OK. Now I'm going to load it in here so we... Uh, Clear the sample, unload a new one, load sample. Oh, that looks more like it. Oh, that in itself is quite interesting. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm not. I'm not unloving that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's give it the benefit of a bit of reverb. Okay, I'm going to do something even more alarming in a moment, just after this message from our sponsor. How to Write Music is my online course that takes you through every step of the process. How to get going chord progressions, tune writing, developing and arranging your music, six hours of exclusive video tutorials, a course text packed with tips and a supportive online community. 
get more out of your music and sign up today. What happens if I layer it up with another sample? Um, would that be a good idea? Um, you may wonder, what, you know, why are you spending time on all this when you could just load up some sounds and get on with it? And it's true, you could do. It's just, if you can just get that edge, you get something which is not... their root note. I've set that for D sharp 4. Why would you do something like that? Okay, let's go for C4. But at least set them to the same one. C4. I'll type it in. That's easier, isn't it? Mm. So look at the... Re uh, let's adjust the ADRS. ADSR, I mean. Which one is actually controlling? Ah, oh, that one, it turns out. Okay. Bit of a... What do we think of this sound? Right, now we're going to add a synth sound. Now we're going to put in... Now we're going to save our work. Now we're going to add... Because we haven't even got any. We're near scoring the stupid spider thing yet, have we? Okay. Uh, synapse, Dune, in you come. How about that one? I like that one. I made that one the other day. Wait, it's, a, a, it's a sort of... It's an adaption. Quite like that. It's got a sort of menace to it, hasn't it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, a chopper on it, a transgate from kilohertz, kilohertz. Do you know what? I really, really should have added um, a an effects track with um, the and stuck the reverb on that because I'm going to be using quite a bit of it because it needs that kind of uh, sort of big empty spaciousness just like in my brain on a Monday morning at 9am I bet I'm not the only one who has a spacious brain at 9am on a Monday morning at, okay uh, Sends gone. Here we go. Let's send it to actually. Maybe it's going to sound better, or it maybe it would work with some delay on it. Uh, timeless. Do you like that? Okay, right, so now we've got a number of things going on here. So now, let's get rid of that muty thing. For, okay, so we've got... Now, we do now need some kind of instrument. Now I will introduce something more traditional. What form of sampled instrument will I go in search of? How about... Uh, a... Pulse to sort of, let's try one of these. These are the You can imagine them sitting around this a bit, but what are we gonna call these things? Because you know, all these <coughs> these samples, they start with one sound and then they kind of sort of it sort of change and become something. They, use, they sort of evolve. Yeah, we could. We'll call them evolutions. And then, <coughs> I've got excited again, haven't I? Okay, stop. So it's a bit too. 
I want something. Oh, look, that was traditional. Okay, look, let's just let's stop faffing, guy, and put something down for... Goodness sake, these people haven't got all day! Oh, you have. Okay. You have to be patient with these ebos. Okay. Now we add that little frisson that is. Ooh. That's why. Okay. What's going on? What's going on, guy? I'm using the pitch bend wheel. The pitch bend wheel of dynamic fate. It doesn't even mean anything. know what happens to the bee. You don't need the pictures. It's clear as the nose of my... Okay. You can start to see how this is coming together. Now, I'm going to put some more audio in. What am I going to do this time? Ah! I took this into our garden the other day uh, to bang it for the National Health Service, which is something we do in the UK every Thursday evening at 8 o'clock. We make a lot of noise and say, thank you, boys and girls, uh, for all your heroic work. Actually, at this point, I will remind you, a friend of mine's wife has written a lovely song uh, in support of the National Health Service, and they recorded it with some wonderful musicians, all working remotely, and a link to their Just Giving page is underneath this video. So if you want to support the National Health Service, even if you live in Kuala Lumpur, um, we'll support your health service if you support ours. So click on the link and uh, do the Just Giving thing. Anyway, back to the piece. Here we go. I'm going to play in some talking drum stuff. Look, if it works for um, Thingly Bob and um, Black Panther, it can work for me. things twice. No, we don't. We never put on the sunglasses of doubt. I do, don't I? All the time. And you know there are times when I should put on the sunglasses of doubt, but I don't. I sounded like Daddy Pig there for a minute. What, Pepper? Sunglasses of doubt? 
Okay. Right, I'm chopping this up. I'm going to do what we did before and smack it about a bit. Then we're going to stick it into Iris and we're going to see if we can come up with something interesting, original, and different. Do you see why it's worth going down to your local music shop or whatever and buying some interesting, weird instrument? Because frankly, that interesting, weird instrument will turn out to be something truly original. Whereas, yeah, you know, you can... I'm a big fan of sample libraries, but I'm a bigger fan of stuff like this. Right. What I'm really looking forward to hearing is that one which was the kind of one in case that works out. What am I looking for? I, I, do you know the way I said I said that as though I had any idea where I was going? It's sort of the idea is, you know, it's like when you ask your dad, um, do you know where you're going? He says, absolutely, it's down here, it's on the left. And you know he hasn't really. That This is me, most of the time. Yep. I'm liking this. I think it needs to go forward. Is that going to work? Is that really going to work? Honestly, guy, is that going to work? Mm. That's so loud. Okay, it's a, only one way to find the pattern. It's not going to work like that completely dry. You're going to have to do something with it, guy. Well, what happens if I start by just... Come on, just do the obvious to start with. Give it a little bit of reverb, see if it sounds... No, I, I did say a little bit. You know, you're not down the bottom of a cave. I'd quite like it to be a bit more stereo. Uh, let's go back. Where's that? Oh, there's the fad filter. Timeless, indeed it is. <laughs> um, how about a bit of a fil... Ah. Is this going to sound terrible? Maybe. It's a sort of little textual thing. Okay, right, let's, I'm going to just bounce that out because what the hell, it might come in handy. But I'm going to have to start finishing this in a minute because I've been going too long and you're all going to get bored. Uh, okay, so I, I'm not convinced that that is the best idea I've ever had. Right, what I need to do is uh, get this... Um, clear sample i want the um the basic one up i want a basic do and then i'm going to see what i can do with that i just want a simple that'll do doesn't need that it does need a compressor on it though let's do it come on you can compress compressor let's make it a bit more chunky want something on this on this bit to come in it's 
not quite what I have in mind still. But are these people going to... Really, guy? Apparently. Now I'm going to add a conventional bit of percussion underneath it uh, because I've got one weird one, I can have one normal one. Straight Force is very cool, very stylized. And this. Uh, I might live with that. Take the far out a bit. Hang on. another one um i can hear you i know what you're thinking okay i'll give in to darwin percussion easter island <laughs> it's a sort of default big sound it's very big Is that going to sit? Do you know? This is going to need a bit of mixing because this is all over the shop at the moment. Um, so I'm going to bounce some stuff out and start stripping stuff out because there's too much going on. Um, so, you know... Let's bounce that out because you can see what's going on, you can pull things around and you can make things go away <laughs> if you don't like them. And, oh no, it's going on too long, this piece is... That opening can come right at the beginning. Then it's going to make the... Uh... That's better. This string is starting to get on my nerves when later on. It's it's it just enough, just enough, okay? Chill. Look, you can see it getting louder and louder because I was leaning on bits of it as far as I remember. But actually, we've got so much going on now. Too much, too much. Take it down a bit. I tell you what, on that first. When we see the spider. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Go weird spider. Tell 
you what, I'm just going to bounce this because I'm going to start doing some backy stuff. Uh, okay. Then we're going to call it quits because there's only so long any one human being can watch somebody faff like this. Uh, you know. Right. Reverse. Uh, and people ask how I do that. And the answer is, if there's things like reversing you use all the time, uh, and this goes, although this is true in Cubase, it's true in, I bet whatever door you're using, this applies. You just find the appropriate um, uh, th thingy and you apply uh, a control key to it so you don't have to look it up all the time. Uh, what's that one? Delete controller. Uh, there we go. So this is reverse audio process, okay? So I've assigned control R to that. So every time I go control R, it turns it round. Uh, so let's see if this sound sounds any good. That's better. Take the strings down. Right, let's now. Tell you what, that's going to sound better if it's sped up. So it's. Try it again. out some of that okay it's getting there I'm going to take that level down a lot because there's strings Does that sound like a spider eating a bee? I want you to follow me through this. Okay. Spider, bee. Oh, I seem to have got stuck. Help! I can't move. I can't move. I, what? My supper seems to have arrived. I'm just going to crawl towards him and bite his body off. No! No! I have small bees at home! Are my friends? No, not anymore! You are supper! Friend! Supper! Friend! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> And that's all we have for you on Discovery Network this evening. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Enough, 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 enough. It's a bit messy. But I think it's better to approach it in a kind of slightly different way rather than do it in the kind of time-honoured, dirt and jawsy kind of boring way, you know. I could have done that 50 different ways. But, I, you know, look, I quite like it. I think there's elements in there I like. And elements in there, I think, eh, not so much. So I'm going to faff with it a bit more. But basically, that's it. So if you've enjoyed that, what do you do? You subscribe. You subscribe. Of course you do. And you tick the little bell thing so that you get reminded when we do stuff like this because you are going to enjoy it. So thanks very much for your company. See you again very soon.